the Farnborough Air Show, Airbus announced that its A330 multi-role tanker transport is now the first tanker to be certified to have conducted an automatic air-to-air refueling operations in daylight. Boeing and Airbus are competing for the next phase of U.S. aerial refuelers competition. The United States Air Force operates the largest aerial refueler fleet on Earth with nearly 650 aerial refueling tanker aircrafts. The rest of the world has perhaps as many as 250 tankers, and of these 80 belong to the U.S. Marine Corps. The United States Air Force uses the Boeing KC-135 Stratotanker as its main refueler, with over 400 Stratotanker built for the U.S. Air Force. The KC-135 entered service with the United States Air Force in 1957 and has been in continuous service for over 60 years. With maintenance costs is greatly increasing on the aging aircraft, the Air Force is planning to retire them all by 2030. In order to replace the KC-135 Stratotanker, the Department of Defense in 2009 announced the KCX competition between Boeing and a team consisting of Northrop Grumman and the European Aeronautic Defense and Space Company for a program to build 179 new KCX aerial refueling tankers. The estimated total value of the 179 aircraft KCX program was roughly 35 billion US dollars with all the refuelers to be inducted by 2027. In 2011, the Boeing KC-46A Pegasus tanker was selected as the winner in the KCX tanker competition. The KC-46 is derived from Boeing's commercial 767 airframe, that is able to refuel 64 different aircraft, and includes all US and Allied military aircraft. The KC-46 using its boom allows the tanker to transfer up to 1,200 gallons of fuel per minute, while the hose and drogue systems that is located on the plane's wing and centerline, enables the KC-46 to refuel smaller aircraft with up to 400 gallons of fuel per minute. The aircraft can detect avoid defeat and survive threats using multiple layers of protection, which will enable it to operate safely in medium threat environments, and rapidly convert for med evac and cargo. The next round of competition is termed KC Y will likely see a contract awarded in 2024, for this round Lockheed Martin has teamed with Airbus to offer an advanced version of the Airbus multi-role tanker transport that is designated LMXT. The proposed refueler from Airbus and Lockheed Martin will be based on the A330 commercial twinjet airframe, which Airbus proposes to assemble in Alabama, and then fly to Lockheed's military aircraft facility in Georgia for conversion to an aerial refueler. The United States Air Force has a requirement of 140 to 160 refuelers in this next round, which is sometimes described as a bridge to the final phase that will be replacing all the aging refuelers built during the 20th century. Leonardo Helicopters has begun work to establish a UK production line for the AW149 Super Medium Helicopter at its facility in Yeovil, England. The company said these steps reflect the commitment towards the UK defence deal announced recently to acquire new military helicopters. In May 2022, the UK's Ministry of Defence officially confirmed the new medium helicopter procurement plan to acquire up to 44 helicopters worth between £900 million and £1.2 billion, with initial service entry expected by January 2025. The new medium helicopter program is expected to replace four rotorcraft types in the UK inventory, that includes the Royal Air Force's Airbus Puma Mark II and the Bell 412, and the British Army's Bell 212, and Airbus Dauphin fleets. Other main contenders in the tender include Airbus Helicopters, which is proposing its H-175M, and Sikorsky is proposing its S-70M Blackhawks that it currently manufactures in Poland. Thanks for watching, and for more updates on defense economics finance and geopolitics please subscribe to our channel.